Providing a customized fit and heavy load hauling capability, the Osprey Zenith 75 is ideal for long weekends or extended backpacking trips. Let's take a look at all of its features. So I'm going to take the pack and turn it around to show you the suspension system and how it carries a load. The Zenith 75 is toting Osprey's Bioform suspension system. It's a nice beefy suspension system designed to carry heavy loads and carry them comfortably. This pack can comfortably haul up to 70 pounds. So really nice beefy suspension here. It gets its structure from the Lightwire HD frame, which is a, a pretty decent aluminum frame that's gonna extend the perimeter of the pack. So that gives it its structure. There is a single aluminum stay throughout the middle, which is gonna, again, provide support and really help to transfer that weight down to the lower back and hip section of the pack. We've got a mesh foam back panel here to provide some cushion and some extra padding, as well as some breathability and quick drying wicking materials, which definitely are gonna keep you comfortable on the trail and a dual density harness, which is gonna also just enhance that comfort and enhance that load hauling capability. Down to the hip belt, we've got a nice ergo pull hip belt. So that really helps to pull evenly and distribute the weight evenly throughout the hips and the lower back section of the pad. Another nice feature about the Osprey Zenith and the Bioform suspension is that you can actually swap out the components to truly get a customized fit. So the shoulder harness here, as well as the hip belt are completely removable. You can take them off the pack and you can swap them out for different sizes. So if the general medium or the general large doesn't fit you, you can change the parts to get that truly customized fit. Another neat feature about the Bioform harness and hip belt is that they break in, you know, like your favorite pair of boots, they'll, they'll conform or mold to the wearer. They are a, a custom molded style of hip belt and harness. So the more you wear them, you know, within two or three longer trips, they will break into mold to your body while still providing support and comfort. So really nice features in the Bioform suspension system. So turning the pack back around, we're gonna take a look at how we access or how we get into the Zenith 75. So there are actually four ways to access this pack. The main way is it's a top loading pack. So obviously we're gonna look at the top. So if we draw the hood back there, we do have a large top compartment. So we can open that up and it's a nice wide access point. So you can really have easy access to all of your gear. So if you need to access items that you know are on the top of all your contents, you can just access them quickly and easily through the top of the pack. Two other pretty neat access points are on each side. So right where the water bottle pockets stay, there's a zipper that opens up to offer side access throughout the entire pack. So you can actually get into the pack from the side here. This zipper will allow easy entry. And on the other side, there's another one. So two access points from either side of the pack to get in and access your contents without having to go through the top. So nice features there, smart design from Osprey. And the last access point is the bottom here. We do have a lower sleeping bag compartment. So if you need to just grab the sleeping bag, you've got easy access in the bottom of the pack there. So nice feature there. There is a divider that separates the sleeping bag compartment with the rest of the pack contents. So there's just a nylon sheet in there that's attached via two little, little straps. You can drop that out so that there's no divider whatsoever. So you can have one full compartment or you can leave that divider up and have two separated compartments. That's your choice. So those are all the, the access points on the pack. So there are a plethora of pockets on this pack that offer a lot of organization and, and ease of access to different items. On the actual hood, we have two pockets. So turn it back around. There's a, a larger bottom pocket. So you can zip that open. It's a pretty substantial pocket. You can access a lot of items in there. And then there's also a smaller pocket on the top. So if you just need to access, you know, a map or um, an emergency kit, you know, of some sort, 
you can store that in this smaller pocket up there. So two nice, nice pockets on the top of the pack there. On the front, we've got a stretch mesh front pocket with a clip at the top here. So nice, easy access to throw in some extra layers. I've just got a little windbreaker in there right now, but stretchy mesh pocket on the front, as well as two stretchy mesh pockets on the sides. So they'll be great for water bottles, tent poles, or any other gear that you may want to lash or attach to the sides of the pack. On the front, we do have two pockets on either side of that, that mesh pocket, and they open up to be pretty sizable, so you can store some items in there. You know, I could see putting a tent body or a rain fly in there. I've got some, you know, some extra items in here, like a first aid kit and some bug sprays just to you know, have easy access to some quick items, but pretty sizable pockets on the outside of the pack there. And then down at the bottom, we've got two hip belt pockets on the outside. So on either side of the pack, we have a hip belt pocket, great for smaller items like granola bars, your cell phone, maybe your keys if you're not out for a long period of time. So. A lot of really good organizational features in play on the Zenith 75. We also have a lot of compression in play on the Zenith 75, so there's a lot of ways to secure the load that you've got inside. On each side, we have a top and a bottom compression strap. So there's a nice buckle here at the top. You can really lash or secure the load. You know, you could even store items under these compression straps if you really needed to. Underneath around these uh, stretchy mesh water bottle or side pockets, there's another compression strap that you can see. So again, it's just really gonna help to secure the load and, and cinch everything down nicely. So you've got those two straps on either side. So you can see that there's there and up at the top here as well. And another nice compression strap is across the, the top in the front. We do have a compression strap that kind of goes around the lid portion or the, uh, the main access point of the pack. So if you need to, you can really loosen that up to allow an expanded amount of capacity or you can cinch it down to really hold down the load and a nice feature there. There's also a compression strap inside the pack that'll cover up your items and really kind of hold them in place so they don't shake around or move on you while you're hiking. So nice features there. Some other smaller features we've got going on are the tool loops and bungee cord attachments. So we've got two of those right on the front here. So some nice features there. We've got two removable sleeping pad straps. You can attach a sleeping pad to the outside of this pack if you need to, or some other type of gear. And if you don't want those, they are completely removable. So you can take them off and not have to worry about them. Another feature we've got going on is the hydration compartment. So Osprey offers a separated hydration sleeve. So it's not on the inside of the pack, but it's not on the outside either. It's kind of right in between your harness and your suspension system and the actual pack contents. So we've got an H2O spot right there. You can slide your hydration compartment down there, put your bladder down there and you'll be set to go. Now, it's not included with the pack. You do have to buy that separately, but it can be integrated into this system. So, pretty nice feature there. Another neat feature is the stow on the go trekking pole attachment from Osprey. So you can stow your trekking poles right to the shoulder harness and they will attach as well to this gear loop down on the bottom side here. So you can have easy access to your trekking poles if you need to. You know, if you're not using them, you need to stow them away. You can still have them close at hand, but not, you know, in your way. So, nice feature there as well. So another nice feature that Osprey incorporates, they actually allow you to completely remove the hood of the pack and use it as a, a lumbar pack or a lower back pack. So if you set up base camp and you wanna go for a little day hike or you just wanna kinda shoot up to a summit, you can remove this entire hood and use that as its own pack. So it does have some nice ridged foam in there with mesh for breathability, and it does come with straps integrated in there as well. So you can just pop that off 
and use it as its own day pack. So really nice and, and smart, convenient feature there. Adds a lot of value to the pack. So there you have it. It's the Osprey Zenith 75. An array of features make this pack ideal for longer backpacking trips and extended adventures.